Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, in front of us, we've got this 70mm Kawaha Discus Padlock. Um, I have had a look at this already, and it's made in China, um, as, as a lot of locks are. Um, no surprises there. But why did I buy one of these? Well, it's a new brand that's new to me, but I saw Big Al, um, Albert LaBelle, had posted on Twitter that he'd got a disentangled one of these, which is quite cheap in the US. Uh, which had false gates uh, on the discs and I was like well that's kind of cool I looked on Amazon in the UK and you can get them but they're like 10 times the price of the US but they did for reasons only known to um, the distributors themselves have the disc padlocks which were again really cheap in the UK got no idea how much they are in the US and I thought well if I can't have the disc attainer version I'll have a disc padlock instead um, and and why not I thought and I have to say from the box I actually really like it I know it's a silly thing to say in a way but I just like the design of it I think it's, it's kind of nice the red and the blue and the white it, it just works really well inside it's a bit of a disappointment because there's nothing in there you can see the marks on the inside of the box which has been rattling around I think you know if you're going to have such a nice box something on the inside would be quite nice uh, even just a bit of tissue paper anyway so the keys, get three of them of course, there is the bitting, I guess it's not terrible, it's got like a low cut and some high cuts and it's not brilliant either but it's alright. Um, that This action is usually heavier on these disc padlocks but other than that the construction seems okay, there you go, made in China, stainless steel. I mean it's not much to say, it's, it's clearly not going to be as good as something like an Abus Discus but well let's have a look at the pickability. Um, nice small keyway, so I normally go for my slim down south or tension tool and try to get some purchase on there without tension slipping. Uh, that'll do. Got a slim uh, pick. Um, I was going to use my south old one, but this was close to hand, so this is the uh, Sparrows short hook in 20,000th. Just because it's a small keyway, it's quite nice to get a bit of movement in there. Uh, it's pin three, two, At the back, uh, that was five, four, three, two, anything I want? No. Oh, <laughs> we were open. No, yeah, there we are. We were open. I don't know what that was about. It just hung up a bit. Okay, so that was a rudimentary pick. Um, makes me think there's nothing but standards in there and that uh, maybe the tension tool bound the... Uh, core up a bit there. Let's, uh, let's have another go but with say like a Bogota or something. Uh, yeah, I'll use a Southall one. I really like this one. It's a, it's a deep Bogota, uh, but it is a good one. Let's have a go. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all standard pins in there isn't it? There's nothing more to say about it. Well, a bit disappointing really isn't it? Um, I guess it isn't to be I mean, it's to be expected. It's a cheap padlock, but you know, it started out nice in, in, in its good little box, but other than that, it's really nothing that special. Well, thank you for joining me on this uh, little lock picking excursion anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I, I don't rate the uh, Kawaha lock uh, particularly highly. I, I don't think physically it's going to be too bad in terms of uh, lock construction, but uh, there's definitely better cores out there. You know, when you've got the Abus Discus, it's really hard to recommend anything else if you're going to go for a discus padlock. Anyway, thanks for all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.